All right, YouTube. Welcome back. Uh, uh, today, I want to demonstrate for the first time with my coils that I can light incandescent bulbs. This is a uh, nightlight bulb. Uh, very common. I'm not exactly sure how many watts this guy is, but incandescent bulb. Let me get this guy close and focus in so you can see what it is. There we go. Standard incandescent bulb, old school. There's a tungsten filament. Okay. Let's zoom back into the breakout arc. Okay, I'm going to do this before the camera, the battery in the camera dies because uh, it's dying. So let me do this quickly. Here I have my ground wire. Right here, I showed in the previous videos. Um, if you want to take a look more of that, just look through my videos. But here we go. I'm going to touch the bulb from end to end. And then I'm going to touch the ground. And then, full bam. We now have wireless transmission of power through the incandescent light bulb. Now, this is kind of hard to do. It's actually burning my thumb quite a bit. Uh, the voltage is actually going through my thumb. And you can see this gets extremely bright. Let me pan up a little bit to the top of the torrid. All right, where it's brightest. And full bam. There we go. The light comes on and it's actually it stays lit wirelessly for quite some distance from the coil. Um, I'm getting really close to the camera and I'm probably getting really blurry. As you can see it's still lit and I'm right in front of the camera. All right, let me get close to the torrid again and then whoo. Getting some really good output on that guy. Alright, before the battery dies, just let me show you that this was in fact a ground wire. So this is the wire that I was using. Okay. Uh, to connect the end of the bulb through my finger. Obviously I'm not letting 120 volts AC going through my finger, but as you can see, um, that is just like in the previous video. That is the ground wire. Alright, and that top plug, this is the plug that I'm actually using to power the laptop charger. And then you can see it's just fed right into the little third eye. And you can follow the green wire all the way out in my hand. It's this wire right here. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod and show you all one more time that I am lighting this DFL wirelessly. I am actually pulling voltage from the ground, this is the conclusion that I've come to over the past uh, couple days is that I'm actually pulling the current from the ground um, through the bulb into the coil I kind of think of it as like a bathtub effect, so basically you fill a bathtub up with water, uh, pull the plug and then all all the voltage is actually I think getting sunk into the coil and then out the negative um, back at the 19 volts. Um, that seems to make more sense than this thing emitting voltage. I, I actually believe this thing is sourcing voltage from my ground wire here. Okay, you can see that nice beautiful gap right there. I hope that shows up in frame. Alright, oh, let me go down. There we go. I get a beautiful spark gap right there. It actually bows out a little. It's very impressive. Um, here it is one more time. It's my ground wire, the bulb. There it is. Uh, this is the only. This is the only incandescent bulb I have in the house at the moment. Um, I need to string a whole bunch of these together, solder them down uh, to a ground, and see how many of these suckers I can light up. Now I have this automotive light bulb right here that I pulled out of my car a few weeks ago and it was still functional I have not yet gotten this guy to light up this is a halogen uh, I'm really surprised I have not got this thing to get at least a, a marginally dim I really don't know what's going on with this thing it might have an internal dial but I tried both sides but I have not yet gotten this guy to light up but here it is guys wireless transmission usable power current in one direction wirelessly proof with the pudding right here, full bam. Alright, guys, 
We're getting serious now. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'm definitely going to come back to you with more videos.